Hello everyone, welcome back to Matt's Be Adventurous. This is Chad, and today I'm going to cover our battery setup, our solar system, and the solar prep that is included on the 268BH Passport by Keystone RV. It's a 2021. On the tongue of our trailer, we have two GC2 interstate batteries from Costco that I purchased several years ago and used on our previous camper. The two batteries are each 6 volt and they're in series to create a 12 volt battery bank. I have a Victron Smart Shunt 500 amp that is wired into the negative leg of the batteries and all the loads come off the system minus. And one interesting thing about the 2021 Keystone Passport is it's pretty hard to see, but that is called the Giggy box, I believe Keystone calls it. Your seven way trailer pin wiring, any kind of wiring for the trailer, basically anything that's powered off the battery that's 12 volt of the trailer goes to that box. It has a battery disconnect switch, which is that red knob. And it also, the solar flows through the box. The solar is always on, so you can have the disconnect off and no load on your battery, but your battery be tr trickle charged. And then as well as your emergency breakaway brakes are always powered off the battery as well. So if there was a emergency while you were driving and you had your battery disconnect off, the brakes would engage. Inside the pass-through storage on the driver's side is where the solar prep is for the Keystone. Inside the pass-through storage is where the solar prep for the Keystone RV is located on the passports. When we originally purchased the camper, there was a black box such as this that was screwed in right here. If you take the four screws out, it will reveal a very haphazardly drilling hole. Inside that hole, there was an 8-gauge wire that comes from the roof solar prep down to the batteries. It was one continuous wire so I had to cut that wire and I put ferrules on the end of it and from the solar side I have a disconnect that I can disconnect the solar with. From there it goes into my charge controller and then out to the battery. This is a Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller, 7515. Also, located in the storage area, is a Romex cable. That Romex is a loop that is looped into three outlets inside, so if I wanted to put a inverter with the transfer switch in place, I could have power to three outlets in the bedroom and living room. All right, we're on the roof of the Passport now. These are my two 100-watt solar panels that are wired and parallel. They are both plugged into the ZAMP solar. This was included on the solar prep from Keystone. It uses an SAE-style connector. The ZAMP products are wired in reverse polarity from a normal SAE connector, so be very careful and check with a multimeter before hooking any non-ZAMP product up to this. I used a conversion from an MC4 cable to a SAE plug that I purchased off Amazon. That's the short length of cable there. I actually took the MC4 connectors off the solar panels and reversed them so I didn't have to use a adapter for the reverse polarity. I have not secured the wires yet to the rooftop of the camper. I wanted to be able to show you guys the SAE to MC4 connector conversion piece. Interestingly enough, when I first installed the system, I was not getting any voltage to my charge controller. I took off the roof mounted box and inside the box, the wires were not connected to anything due to a poor crimp job from the factory. Alright guys, on the last part of this video, I just wanted to 
show you guys the Victron Energy mobile app. This connects to the Smart Shunt and the Smart Solar Charge Controller via Bluetooth and you can monitor your battery status and your solar charging status. Um, the first thing you'll do is download the Victron Energy app and connect to the devices via Bluetooth. Once you have those connected, you will open up the app and you will select the Smart Shunt. On the Smart Shunt, you can see that we are currently drawing 2.3 amps and our battery state of charge is 100%. It will show time remaining if we keep using the current amps. The Smart Shunt is in real time, so if we were to flip off a light switch and flip it back on, it would reflect on that. And it's got a history tab so you can see your total discharges and graphs and stuff that's way over my head. You can open up the Smart Solar and you can see that we're currently getting 21 watts of solar and 1.4 amps charging the battery. We are parked under some shade right now. Here you can see how long we've been parked under shade and when we're in max sun on the history tab and it can all be graphed out. The Victron has been a really great product for us. Um, I've had it on the camper for a few weeks now. Haven't got to go camping with it yet, but I am uh, pretty excited to do it. And uh, just wanted to thank you guys for coming out and seeing the solar install and solar prep on the Keystone Passport. This is Chad with Metspeed Adventurous. See you soon. Bye.